stop watching and do it, or better said, stop exposing yourself to and do it. That is the title of my letter. It's easy to defend yourself against a crocodile in front of you, but it is impossible to defend yourself against the snake camouflage next to you. I wrote a poem about the essence of my talk. Here it is. Stop watching and do it. It must be said. In his words, limitations spread. You become what you expose yourself to. Choose with care, for it shapes what you pursue. External desires may cloud your sight. Riches, fame, a fleeting flight. Beliefs imposed on you a dangerous game. Straying from your essence, your internal flame. So question, ponder, seek your truth in the silent depths where mastery takes root. That is the essence of this video. And if you understood everything that I meant, then stop watching here. And to the one who didn't, a big disclaimer. Don't believe anything of what I say next. The title of this video is way too prescriptive and you shouldn't do anything because of me. The only thing that could save you is understanding from within yourself. So that being said, let me share why I stopped watching and do I realized that every human being will limit me. Every other human will limit you. It may befit you to repeat that. A human becomes what he exposes himself to. So if you expose yourself to Andrew long enough and believe most of the things he says and you start working hard, then you have a high chance of becoming a rich individual, smoking in his Dubai mansion with 27 supercars and four wives. Now you may ask, what is bad about that, Jordan? And to that I say nothing. Nothing is bad about that, nor good. That's not the question I'm asking. The question is, what could you've become if you never expose yourself to others? You see, you want to become rich, drive the Ferrari, have the Lamborghini, buy the jet, lie on the yacht. I had that too. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan. Did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 45 people. Started making videos in 2012. And I'm sharing here how I grow my personal brand, achieve financial freedom and find peace in my life. And I wanted all of those things too. But don't you see that those are not the things you want? Would you ever thought about them if you were the only human on earth? I know I take it to an extreme, but my point is valid. This is the truth. You want to be rich, you want to improve, you want to be loved for external reasons. Everything you do, everything you've ever done is all for external motives. You even smile at others so that you may receive a smile back. Once again, don't believe me, just ask yourself, would I want a supercar if it decreased my status in society. Now, if I may assume your mind starts to come up with at least one reason so it can justify its ulterior motives. For example, in me, when I asked that question to myself, this is what it came up with. Yeah, but I like that adrenaline feeling of driving the car. Isn't that internal? But once again, that's not the question. All I asked was, would I desire that supercar if it decreased my status in society? That is the question. By watching and do you believe in good or bad? I make assumptions, but I think I'm right. You probably think it is good to become rich and that it is bad to be broke, that it is good to smoke cars, that it is bad to do ice baths, that it is good to have lots of kids, and that it is bad to live in the US. Any of these beliefs will lead you astray, not because they're not true, not because they're wrong, but because they're not yours. Any beliefs are just that, beliefs. And the only thing that works in this world is radical self-experimentation. So by all means, keep watching videos from Endo or for that sake, anyone else. Just ask yourself, did that give me what I wanted? And if yes, is that what I wanted all along? And now the natural question that probably arises is, well, what is it that I actually want? And that is the person to start walking his own path. That is the person ready to wake up. Could it be that you are asleep, but believe yourself to be awake, believe to be improving at life, believe to be escaping from the matrix and the average people, but that you are asleep just like everyone else, but just in a different bed. I will get a lot of hate from posting this video, I assume. Mostly from people who don't understand the core of my message. Mostly if people who saw the title of this video and immediately scroll to the comments and are writing their disapproving comments as we speak. And this is all okay. I've learned that anger from within other people is actually self-conflict or just a lack of understanding of their own mind. Therefore, it has nothing to do with me, but everything to do with themselves. But I'm not talking to them. 
talking to the one who just began to understand the following that exposure is extremely dangerous exposure is extremely powerful so use the power wisely this must be understood with a crocodile inside the fence is a breeze but a hidden snake comes with unseen unease. The crocodile that I talk about might be the forbidden fruit from Adam and Eve. It's the obvious thing not to eat, but the hidden snake might be the daily fruit that you eat without thinking twice. The snakes might be the podcast that you listen to from people that you think are good for you. Should I then stop watching all the videos and podcasts? Maybe a natural question that arises. And my answer is you shouldn't do anything. Don't do things because of me or anyone else. I still watch videos and podcasts of experts in their fields, but I pay very, very close attention to the words they speak. And as soon as they speak outside of their expertise, I put my guards up. I block myself from the exposure because I have realized that it is only limitations put on me when someone doesn't speak about their mastery. Do you realize this is my approach? Know that it is a difficult approach because I have to be constantly aware of the words that are spoken and if they are helpful in my pursuit to mastery or limiting. If they are about what they themselves have truly mastered or if they are nonsense or just a selfish pursuit to gain status or feel better about themselves. Most people only care about their appearance. And once again, don't believe me. Why is it that every CEO of all the Fortune 500 companies only talk positive about their companies, even if they are at the brink of bankruptcy. All they care about is appearance. And that is not bad, that's just a fact. Most humans care about appearance over reality, but it is effectiveness over appearance that matters. So if the question is, will you become successful by the standards that Andrew sets? The answer is very likely to be yes, if you follow his advice, put in the hard work, but my question is, do you really want that yourself? If you get out of life what you truly wanted for yourself, then that is effective, then that is perfection, that is everything. The one who understands that every human will lead you astray, not just Andrew, he will stop consuming on YouTube and start exploring for himself without any effort or a seven step plan needed. And to that person, I made this video. And all the others may leave hate comments in the, in the comment section or keep sm bars. And by the way, it must be said that I don't imply that bars is good or bad. That is not what this is about. It is just that that is not being done for an internal reason, but only for external motives. And that can never lead to peace. So lastly, don't believe my words, don't follow blind. Seek your own truth in the depths of your mind. So ask yourself what truly drives beneath the surface where passion thrives and only the serious person may check the show notes. Talk soon.